Hello, my friends. It's time once more for another story from our friend Quillpin Monster. A weeb thinks I stole their character because... Anime trope? I'm already scared of what's about to happen, so let's just, uh, let's just go with it, huh? Hello everyone, it's me, Quilpin Monster, with another story. This time it's a single post because, let's be real, it's more pathetic than funny. Firstly, I need to be frank. This community was amazing to be a part of, but a series of events caused me to leave the community. I admit, I was stupid and started drama, being in my early 20s, it happens. I want to make this clear so no one thinks that I'm a total angel who did nothing wrong. However, this person, let's just say they see drama and want to make it about themselves. Alright, so when I first joined the community, everyone welcomed me with open arms. They loved the OC I created, a fan child I created with my favorite couple, and soon people started bringing out their own kiddos. Fan kiddos, specifically. I like to think it was due to my OC, but eh, it might have just been that people saw other people enjoying the RP and they joined in too. Enter Karen. I'm calling him that for funsies. Karen at first welcomed me to the community and even called my OC cute. Fast forward, and Karen's buddy and I RP'd a bit, and all was well until uh, I introduced a new OC. This one was a fan child of a character that's pretty popular in the fandom, so some people created OCs just to be shipped with this one particular one. Truly a Chad alpha male, am I right? <laughs> but alas, Karen did not appreciate this new character. They messaged me and asked me to please change the name of my character. To note, the name I had given my OC was based on some lore and background in the fandom. It's all based off history, mythology, so yeah, I kind of used that for the name. And yet, Karen wanted to claim this historically based name for reasons. Prior to this, I had tried to help Karen with some issues when we were on more friendly terms, and Karen admitted that they were a bit jealous of other popular people in the fandom. So I tried to help. I think I might have made it worse in the process. Anyway, Karen once again admitted that they didn't want my OC to have that name because I would be more popular than them and their character would be left in the dust. At first, I told them I'd think about changing it, but no promises. Eventually, I decided against changing the name. Radio silence from Karen until I posted a reference image of what I imagined an older version of my character would look like. Problem was, this reference image had blue hair whilst mine was red. I made a note that obviously the blue hair wasn't part of the idea, but the two looked similar and I like using the reference image to convey my idea. Karen didn't like this, however. Why? Well, because their character had blue hair. So, I tried to reason with them, told them that characters still had red hair and even different features. Brought up a scar that was across the OC's nose, a popular trope. I think... Uh, a popular trope. Think Iruka from Naruto or Shiro from Voltron. I got nothing. I, I, I hope you guys got it, because I got nothing. Karen then accused me of stealing from another character due to the whole scar thing. I tried once again to tell them that this is not even a unique idea, but radio silence. Fast forward yet again to me causing some kind of drama. I made a public apology to the people in question, but Karen hijacked the post and tried to make it about themselves. They even accused me of stealing a bunch of characters while being all aloof and saying shit like, Everyone knows what you did. But the issue was that wasn't the point. I had stupidly picked a fight with someone over a fucking pairing. It had nothing to do with character theft. Fast forward yet again. I had another OC that I was working on and commissioned someone. I sent them a reference image of this really nice kimono that I had found online while Google searching. Everything checked out until the commissioner politely told me that another individual had requested the same kimono and asked if I was okay with changing the design. 
yeah, I'm 100% cool with that. I just found it on Google, so it really wasn't that big a deal. Commission was finished, and my character looked amazing. The new design was even better than what I thought it would be. I also noticed that Karen had also commissioned from the same artist, but whatever, it's fine. Nothing crazy. Yet. I have an artist who I commissioned to help me design characters, different from the first person. I show them the character, give them some ideas, and they do a fantastic job bringing these ideas to life. I decided to commission this artist to draw this new character. Once again, I noticed the artist's to-do list that Karen was commissioning them. Okay, that's a little weird. Uh, I'd commissioned both artists ages ago, and they are pretty popular, so maybe it's just a coincidence. And then it happened. The artist of the second commission messaged me with a very concerning note. They told me that someone was telling them that I stole their designs and that I was a thief. They weren't pointing fingers, but they did want to know what was going on. So I told them the truth, how I was stupid and got into kind of needless drama in another community, but I never stole any designs. I then asked the artist who this person was that was saying these things, and you guessed it, it's Karen. The accusations had gotten worse, however. They were now accusing me of not only stealing their two OCs, but I was also stealing Karen's friend's OC. I asked Karen if they had any proof of this, and, well, Karen had proof, all right. Doctored and fake proof. Karen used a newer commission as proof, while unironically using doll maker images as the stolen designs. And, worse offense, Karen's friend's OC and mine had <gasps> blonde hair and blue-themed outfits. Yeah, remember that first artist I commissioned? Apparently that design was made by Karen's friend, and I was stealing their friend's design. A design, mind you, that I found on Google Images. Of a real person. The second artist and I chatted for a bit, and they thanked me for being honest with them, and told me not to worry about these accusations. Time passed, and I didn't hear a peep from Karen until they randomly messaged me, kind of accusing me this time of starting other drama in another fandom. I told them no, we talked for a bit, and they said, Well, everyone knows you're still OCs, before ending the chat. Sorry this is long, it's ridiculous the amount of reach this person has. As for my own proof, I made a PowerPoint with screenshots. I have no intention of sharing it publicly, but I wouldn't mind showing anyone who asked specifically for it. It's a wild ride, and I'll be censoring names in the PowerPoint just to avoid stirring more drama, so thanks for reading. Oh boy. That is some absolute insanity. I. Wow. You know, I, this is one of the many reasons why I just avoid a lot of communities and only stay within my own because it's like, there, there's too much stupid shit out there. I don't need to be bothered with all that. I like the community that we've built here together, and we don't really have that kind of issue with our group. It's uh, a lot of just general stuff to talk about weird things. There's no pointless drama over stealing other people's characters or stuff like that. So, I do have to admit that that's a big plus about this. Now, as for this person, this is not the first time I've heard people do this kind of shit. Um, it's not surprising. That does happen from time to time. Some people go absolutely fucking nuts over their little designs and shit and it gets really weird the most amazing part about this to me is it's not a design specifically done for you know like i don't know kind of like the designs that i have for like stuff for the merch shop this is not a design specifically made you know to be marketed they're OC designs, which means, well, you can't really market them anyway because they're based off of a bunch of other things in this one specific fandom. So it's not anything that means anything outside of this one very specific area. And still, there are people who will scream, scratch, and fight to the death about all of this. So, yeah, it, it's pretty crazy that it can get that wild. Uh, I am sorry that you had to deal with this, and this just reminds me of, like, so many little fandoms that I was a part of back in the day. The most dramatic, I think. I, I can't decide between if the most dramatic was the furry fandom or the pony fandom. They're both pretty fucking dramatic. Big shock why I don't talk to them anymore, huh? I know, right? 
It's a lot of bullshit. So, yeah, that can happen a lot, and it's pretty fucked up. So, But thank you for sharing this wonderful story with us. That was quite a wild ride. <laughs> um, I'm just, wow. I'm, I'm still just kind of like, what the fuck, man? All, all this over, like, wow. Just wow. But, with all that being said, thanks for being here, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this story as much as I enjoyed this story, or even more so. Who says you have to be limited by my scale? It's a thing, you know. I love you all so very much, and if you'd like to support this channel so I can keep doing things like this, there's a merch store. The link to that is in the description below this video, and if you have your own stories, there's a subreddit. I keep forgetting to talk about the subreddit, but it's there. You can find that. Seriously, there's some pretty cool stuff in those links. You should totally check it out. Hint, hint. Anyway, I love you all. <laughs> I'm bad at this, can you tell? I'll see you in the next video. Bye!